So in the previous example, we used the filepicker.pick function to upload the user images. Um, that just uploads the image to the default file stack container. You can instead tell it to upload to your Amazon S3 bucket instead. That's actually quite simple to do. Uh, go back to your file stack documentation and go to the pick and store page. Here we're just going to copy the filepicker.pick and store code example. I do command copy and then go back to our code and actually I'm going to start a new function called upload image to S3 and paste in the code. Before I add this real quick. Okay, once the uh, okay that's formatted, we are gonna copy the callback function from the previous function, paste it into this blob handler callback, and actually this is now an array of um, blobs, and we want just the first item. All right, now just copy the function name and we'll scroll down to the button on click event and replace our upload image function with our upload to, to S3 function. Great. And let's test it. We're going to go back to our page and click upload. Let's create a new product called Kitty. And Type in the description, baby set my kitty for three days. Click the upload button and the picture should show up. And let me just find a cute kitty image to upload. Great, now that the image is successfully uploaded, let's see if it shows up in our S3 bucket. There it is. Great, so let's click submit on our form and then go back to the home page and make sure that the code we added was correct. Great, so that concludes this portion of the, the tutorial. Thank you for watching.